Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here with Hayden Black and Laura Silverman for the first ever half hour scripted web series on the web called Good Night Burbank. Can you tell me a little bit about the show? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a comedy about the people who bring us the news. Uh, so when they... Uh, and, and, the, about, uh, and specifically about a newscast who come out of Burbank because the, the studio has burned down, so they're now shooting in a garage. And uh, I play one of the, the anchors, and Laura plays the, uh, one of the people on the show. <laughs> one of the other co-anchors. Great. I play, the, I play the star of the show. I don't know if that's the character name. I don't, I don't know. I don't read the scripts. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you get involved in the show, Laura? Um, I guess... Uh, we were both doing a, sh a show at Largo, like a comedy show, and um, we I had never met Hayden. We were doing sort of a show with a, a mutual friend, and um, we were backstage for a really long time before it was our time to go on, and um, during that time, he just sort of pounced on me and tried to convince me to... <laughs> to read his script and do his thing and I was wearing a dress at the He time. was wearing a dress <laughs> and he was dressed in this character um of Abby which is another web thing that he does that's very funny and uh and um I gave him some fashion tips too that helped that out a little bit. He she looked did. like a sort of like the orthodox Jewish version of a teenager and I was like is that what you're going for and he was like no Pull the skirt up a little. It was like down around his ankles, like a prairie, <laughs> little house on the prairie. But it worked. Yeah, it was oh, very it funny. Okay, so yeah, so we, I, but I, you know, I didn't know like um, if it was just, you know, you just never know what to think because everybody's doing something. And, um, you know, I didn't know if like I was just the, like, the only sort of poor excuse for a, for a name that he could find and, and if it was like a good fit. And I read it, and I was like, I thought it, I liked it a lot. I was really pleasantly surprised, but I didn't know if it was, it was very different from anything I played before, and I thought it'd be a good challenge, but I just wanted to make sure that he really wanted me to do it, you know, and not just, like, was sort of scrambling for somebody. So we started meeting and talking about it, and it really kind of developed into something that I was very excited about. And I think it's... Um, I think it's good, and it's evolved and grown a lot as we've been going along, and um, it's it's cool. I like it. I'm really glad that um, Hayden is as um, <laughs> is as sort of um, aggressive and annoying as he is because I never would have. Oh, that's sweet. I'm no, actually, I consider him to be like one of my best friends now. In just this short time, like we really clicked. He's all right. Oh, that's very sweet. I, uh, um, Laura, right? She's, she's been fantastic. No, it was great. She, I sent her a script, and she, she wrote me back and said, w would you be interested in maybe giving me the lead role? I'm like, I would never have thought in a million years to, to ask her for that, because I, I wouldn't have thought she would have said yes. So I was over the moon, and I knew immediately the project was already going from there to there with just having her on board. So. Are you crying? Yeah. I am. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the comedy of the whole thing. It is a sitcom. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And Although, you know, I think we, we, we want to call... Uh, prior to this, we've only had five-minute webisodes. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this to be known as webisodic, only because it, it implies that it's, it's much shorter, and this is a full commercial half hour. So, uh, you know, I, I'm throwing out the word webcom just to begin with, because th this is what... This is a, you know, situation comedy for the web. So... You should trademark that. I, but, like, then, but then only we'd be able to use hot. it. She did? That's hot. She did, yeah. Wow, that's oh. hot. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, now, 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 yeah. Yeah. Two of us. <laughs> Just bleep that bit out. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're we're, we're very proud. The, the comedy and, and 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 Laura also you know writes the occasional line here and there, and uh, and has has just helped elevate it. Too. I mean seriously, when you see her in this, it's it's she's a, it's a phenomenal performance that she gives, and behind the scenes she's always back there complaining, <laughs> and, uh, pushing me forward with her complaints. Do you do a lot of improv on set or is it, you said it's all scripted, but is there any? It is scripted and Hayden writes the scripts and I sort of, um, as I've made myself consulting producer, which I took to mean like that 
you know, I can, you know, I, I, if I think that it would be funnier to do it another way or change lines or whatever, he, he just like completely embraces all of my suggestions and it is very it grateful. She can complain uh, officially, is what the consulting producer title is. Um, well, your presence makes In the, the show presence. a lot better. No, we do, like, it is scripted, but we do improvise quite a bit just within that. And when we know we have it, which a lot of, you know, comedy shows will do too. Like, you want to make use of what you have. So, you know, when we know we have it as scripted, we will just, we can do some takes and just, like, go nuts and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's fine. Yeah, there's uh, some lines have arisen that, that we... We, we were playing with before the camera's shot, and we were like, oh, let's keep that in. Let's add that in. And, uh, but it's, you know, 95% of it's scripted. And have you been having a lot of fun making it so far? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tremendous. <laughs> I mean, it's been, it's been an amazing ride. We, we start, I mean, because we've got very, very limited resources to do a half-hour show uh, and to do a professional, you know, we, we want this to be really, really good. I think the budget is about, like, 90 to $100 an episode. <laughs> It's a little, little more than than uh, what we do have, but um, no, it's 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 uh, it's, it's very limited, very tight. But we've it's been a really we've had different uh, crews come on board, different directors, um, all working within the, the the creative box that I've given them because I've you know I developed the show a year ago and came up with how it was going to look and and you know when we talk to the news cameras we see it from the perspective of of, of that of that camera, mm -hmm. and then when we do the behind the scenes stuff it all looks like a, a kind of a uh, cinema verite, you know, fly on the wall documentary. Even though it is not, we don't look at the camera, we don't engage it or acknowledge it. Uh, it's just, you know, that style that we've appropriated. Um, and the directors have come on board, have just done a phenomenal job, you know, within that. And we've just been having, we've had a ton of fun. Some huge guest stars that have come on board and have really um, been so much fun to work with and have, have taken it like uh, to, for, to, to, to a fish to water type of thing. And it's been great. It's each each episode, I think, what we shoot over three nights, mm -hmm. so and like uh, four p.m. to three or four a.m. out here in the freezing cold, even though it's supposed to be hot because it's Burbank, mm -hmm. but it's not <laughs> freezing, and uh, it's tough. But it's I think it just makes everybody like the sort of scrappiness of it just makes everybody really like reminds everybody all the time how much we really care about it and how much we just want like love it and want to do it because it there's no other incentive except for that it's just like it feels like something worthwhile to do because well, it's, it's good writing three and she was so sick and i mean incredibly sick really, really sick. Uh, and i completely door. lost my voice and so we just wrote it into the script because there was like a situation in which i would you know scream had to scream and so we just wrote it into the script that i lost my voice screaming and the whole episode i was just like squeaking out words and it was real it was and real was <laughs> and, and was i was here like and i wouldn't trooper. have thought of leaving and we all wanted her to leave <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to get sick. <laughs> oh. but yeah. You figured if she wanted to be selfish, what could you do? She's yeah. the big star. True, it's true. <laughs> Huge star. Um, what I really like about the show, like watching it back, the, the couple episodes now that are put together, it's so, it's completely over the top in every way, but the way that it plays, it's so intimate and quiet. And you really feel like you're watching th something that's really happening between, like, you know, just these small groupings of people having these private conversations. And um, there's something about it that's, like, kind of just very intimate and draws you in. And it's, like, not loud and in your face with a lot of, you know, sort of, you know, people are always falling from the ceiling and stuff like that. But it mm -hmm. still stays very kind of, I don't want to say intimate again, but intimate. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it because it's a, it's a nice quality for a wacky comedy mm -hmm. to just have everything feel so close and 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 quiet and and yeah nice kind of like real and human yeah. and well, yes so the but it's the show is very naturalistic and mm -hmm. very you know like the big direction I gave everybody before they come on board is dial it down mm -hmm. so it, it, we are kind of peering in and, but the uh, difference is between what a lot of people try to do which is just this overly naturalistic thing where people just sort of improvise and they go on and on and it just becomes sort of like very unfocused it's very focused very focused over the top comedy that's written very specifically and very carefully and then it just becomes this really organic thing from that and I love that about it.
That know. makes me think that Hayden is kind of smart. <laughs> you, would you like to do season two? <laughs> too early to tell. Talk Did I go too that far? Later. Sorry. I'm kind of hoping that this is gonna like springboard me into something yeah, better. Me back here. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, this is so exciting. When can we expect to see the show and where can we check it out? Well, I'm hoping uh, that the show premieres in late March. Um, we'll have six episodes, six half-hour episodes. Um, you will definitely be able to see them on goodnightburbank.com. And we're looking into other ways of getting them out there. We may be doing an app on, um, on uh, iPads and iPhones. And that way you can possibly download them within that, that app as well. Um, and then we'll, you know, we'll make them available on DVD and so on and so forth. Okay, wow. Well, I look forward to seeing the show and hearing more, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you so Thanks much. So much. You're welcome. I'm Katie Elman, reporting for TTNHD Production Live. She's adorable. <laughs>